Hello, YouTubers, again, it's Will again. Um, I'm going to do another reactor video of animated this time. Three, I mean, true, I mean, not three, true Home Alone story animated. So, here you go, and then enjoy. I'm 30 years old, and this story took place when I was 13. My mother was a single mom, and she had to work two jobs. She worked at a grocery store in the morning and a bar at night. So I was home alone a lot, but it was okay because I was used to it. I could cook myself some dinner and walk back and forth to school. I was a pretty responsible kid for my age. One night, I was watching TV while eating ice cream, and someone knocked at the front door. I was wondering who it could be as my friends never came out this late and my mom would always use her key to get in. I opened the door and it was a man standing there with his hands in his pockets. I said, hello. He replied, hello, young lady. Are your parents home? Stupidly, I said, no, my mom isn't home right now. You have to come back tomorrow. He then said with a surprised smile on his face, Oh, you're all alone, huh? I said, uh, yeah, I am. He replied with, Okay, young lady, have a nice night. Don't get into any trouble. He then walked away and I closed the door. He seemed friendly, but also weird at the same time. He was a little funny looking though. He was balding and had 70 styles glasses on with a mustache and bags under his eyes like he never slept. About 10 minutes passed and there was another knock at the door. I got up to answer it, but before I opened the door, something told me to put the chain on. I don't know why, but my gut told me to do that. It was strange because we really didn't use the chain. But I'm glad I did because as soon as I opened the door, it was pushed open, but abruptly stopped by the chain. Before I could even say or do anything, I looked through the crack of the door to see the same man again. And he said in a startled voice, Oh, 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 hey there. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. As he stuttered. It was like he knew he failed getting inside the house and tried to play off this in any suspicion by speaking quickly and making it seem like he didn't just obviously try coming into the house. I said, I'm fine, thanks, and I shut the door. At that time, I didn't really understand the situation or the dangers of what just happened. But still, I was a bit freaked out and wanted my mom to come home soon. An hour went by and I was still thinking about what happened, so I started to watch a movie, trying to keep my mind occupied, when I heard. Hey, let me in quick. I gotta tell you something. This was the scariest situation I've ever been in in my life. It was the man once again, he was talking through the letterbox. I shouted, leave me alone. The letterbox closed. Then the man started banging on the front door, screaming, let me in, you little shit, while slamming the front door handle up and down, trying to get in. I just stood back crying, praying he doesn't get in. He eventually gave up and left. My mom came home about 30 minutes later, just to find me crying, and I told her everything that happened. We told the police, but they never found this guy. I looked back, and I think how grateful I am that I had the feeling to put the chain on the door. I hate to think what that man would have done if he had managed to get in.